Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2. In today's default workflow of the Magento 2, we will be seeing the different uh, shipping methods that are available in the admin backend panel. So these shipping methods uh, can be used by the customers while they are going to place the orders at the storefront and they can select the particular shipping rate as set by the admin. For these shipping methods, the admin can manually set the shipping rates as per the requirement there. So in today's video tutorial, we'll be seeing the free shipping, flat rate shipping, table rate shipping there and we'll be seeing the workflow at the customers and as well how the particular shipping methods appear with, the sh with their shipping rates at the checkout time to the customers there. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So let's hop on to the storefront now and let's see how the shipping methods appear to the customers and how the customers would be able to see the shipping title, shipping name and the shipping price for each of the different shipping methods that have been enabled by the admin from the backend panel and thereafter we'll be seeing the configuration for each of the shipping methods as well. So let's hop on to the storefront now. So the very first thing that I want to show you right now is how the manual shipping methods with the set shipping rates appear to the customers in the shopping cart there, how they can estimate the shipping there and at the checkout time as well. So here you can see that I've already added two products in the cart. One is the battery non-rechargeable and one is the wireless mouse. So let's tap here on the view and edit cart. Also you can see that I've already logged into the customer account panel here. In the top, you can see that I've already logged into the customer account panel as well. So here on the right hand side under the summary, you can see that we have the estimate shipping and tax. And here you can see that the country, state and the zip code have automatically been entered there. And accordingly, we have the flat rate or the fixed rate shipping, free shipping and the best way or the table rate shipping available for the customer to select. So the customer can view any of the uh, shipping rates there and according to his feasibility, he can choose the free shipping or the flat rate or the best way or the table rate. Now the table rate uh, has been set up for the particular country, uh, particular uh, state and particular zip codes. So in today's example, we'll be seeing how we can configure the table rate as well from the admin backend panel. So for example, if I change this zip code to 9005, you'll see that the best way or the table rate would now display the table rate as 100 as said by the admin from the backend panel there manually using the CSV file there. So here you can see if I show you the particular file here, uh, just give me a second for that. Here you can see that for United States, California, for zip code 90001 and 90005, for weight one and above, I've set the shipping price as 150. For 90001 is 50, for 90005, the shipping price is 100 uh, USD. So for 90005, you can see that it's showing as $100 and for 90001, if I make it as 90001, it would show the table rate as the $50 there. Now after this, uh, the customers can uh, tap or select any one of the uh, shipping methods and can proceed to the checkout further. And the same shipping methods uh, would be visible to the customer at the checkout time as well. Under the uh, shipping address section here, uh, you have to select your particular shipping address and then you can see that we have the shipping methods as fixed rate. Uh, uh, or the free shipping and the table rate. So this is the uh, title, this is the method name and this is the price for the particular shipping method uh, that is being waived by the customer and that has been enabled by the admin from the backend panel for the customers to select that. Now let's uh, hop onto the admin backend panel and let's log into the admin backend panel. So uh, in the admin backend panel, the very first thing that you need to do is you need to set the uh, store origin. To set the store origin, uh, what you have to do is you have to navigate through uh, the particular section there. Uh, just give me a second for that. Let me log into the admin backend panel once again by entering the username and the password and tapping on the sign in button thereafter. Now, uh, as soon as we have logged into the admin backend panel, you can see that we have logged into the admin backend panel. I'll navigate to stores configuration on the configuration page. I'll navigate to the sales section. So I'll scroll down and I'll go to the sales. Here I'll go to the shipping settings. And here we'll set up the default origin of our web store there. So I've set it as United States, California, 90034, Los Angeles, 
44S Grand Avenue as the origin there. If you want, you can also set up the shipping policy parameters uh, that are visible to the customers then at the checkout time. So here you can see that see our shipping policy. If I tap on that, we can see the particular uh, content that we have put here uh, within the shipping policy itself. So you can set up the shipping policy as well and that shipping policy would be visible under the CO, CR shipping policy link itself. So this was about how to set up the origin of the uh, web store then. Now coming to the delivery methods, let's go to the delivery methods. Here we'll find flat rate, free shipping, table rate shipping, in-store delivery, uh, UPS, USPS, FedEx, DHL. Now UPS, USPS, FedEx, DHL, uh, these are the third party shipping providers uh, that provide the shipping rates dynamically at the time of checkout uh, to the customers there and depending upon the origin and the destination automatically the shipping rates are calculated and are being displayed to the customers so for these uh, to set up you need to have uh, the uh, particular credentials so you will have to create the accounts at USPS, uh, UPS, FedEx, DHL and after that you will be getting your particular credentials that need to be entered within these so as to provide the dynamic shipping rates to the customers at the checkout time. So in today's video tutorial, we'll just be going through the flat rate, free rate, table rate and the in-store delivery. So the very first one that we are having here is the flat rate. So for the flat rate, how we'll configure the flat rate for that, we have to enable this up. We have to set up the title that would be visible to the customers at the checkout time. Then we'll set the method name. So we have set the title as flat rate, the method name as fixed. Title and the method name as fixed and we have set the price as well. So here we can choose between per order or per item. If we have set it as per order, then if uh, for example, there are on, uh, if we have set it as per order, then if we are having multiple quantities of multiple products there, then if the price has been set as $5, then only $5 would be applicable to the card there. Otherwise, if you set it as per item, then for each uh, unique uh, quantity there, uh, the price would be added. Let me show you that in the example there. So let's make it as uh, if you see right now, uh, let me refresh this page uh, once. Uh, here you can see that initially we have set it to per item and the price is $5. So here you can see that we have two items with the one one quantity each. So that's why the shipping price is being displayed as $10 here. Now, if I make it as per order and I save the configuration here, now in this case, the price would be applicable per order there. So it would be $5 uh, for the fixed rate shipping there. Let me refresh this page here. So as soon as I've refreshed the page, uh, the particular pricing would be displayed here as $5 as you can see. So that was about the per order and uh, per item thing that we have here. Then we have the calculate handling fee. We can set the calculate handling fee as fixed or percentage. If you want, you can add the handling fee as well. So for example, if I add handling fee as $5 here and I save this particular configuration, then uh, in this case, because we have set it as per order, uh, the particular shipping rate would be five plus five as the handling fee there. So let me refresh this page. Now you'll see that the particular shipping uh, price would be displayed as $10 to the customer for the fixed rate shipping itself. So it's being shown as $10 there, right? Now in the case of per item, this would be five plus $5 for this and five as handling fee. So now if I save this configuration as per item, price is $5 and the handling fee is $5 then altogether they should come out according because we have two items in the card with each one one quantity. So it would be 10 plus five is the handling fee that would be $15. Now, if I refresh this page, you'll see that it would show it as $15 uh, to the customer there. $15, right? So this was the flat rate. Now we have the free shipping. Same goes with the free shipping as when you can enable it up. You can set the title that would be visible to the customers at the checkout time, the method name, title, the method name, 
and here you can set the minimum order amount for which the free shipping would be qualified for example you will set the minimum order amount as 500 so if the order amount is 500 then the free shipping would be enabled at the checkout time and would be visible to the customers for selection you can also include text to the amount there you can also display the error message if any the same uh, goes with this particular section as well that's the flat rate here you can set up the display error message uh, that would be displayed if the uh, particular shipping method is not applicable if you have set it as yes then this particular display error message would be displayed then you can set up the ship to applicable countries whether you want to ship to applicable countries like all allowed countries or specific countries then you can select the specific countries uh, where you want to ship to the applicable countries they are using the flat rate itself uh, the same comes with the free shipping as well here in the free shipping as well you can set up the uh, display error message as uh, anything that you want to display to the customers there then ship to applicable countries whether all allowed countries or specific countries if you want to go with specific countries you can go with specific countries otherwise you can allow this sh shipping method for all of the countries there uh, and if you set it as show method is not applicable as no then in this case if the method is not applicable the method will not be displays, displayed otherwise if you have chosen this option that is show method if not applicable as yes then the particular error message would be displayed to the customers that the shipping method is not available in their place and to use the shipping method they have to contact us. So this was about the free uh, shipping now coming to the table rates here the same goes with the table rate as well but there's a bit of change there for the table rates uh, uh, the table rate uh, has uh, different uh, conditions that can be used for generating the different uh, csv files so this csv file is weight versus destination we have weight versus destination price versus destination number of items versus destination in the example uh, that I showed you initially, I showed you that we had the United States, California. If I was choosing the zip code as 9005 and the weight was of the product was one and above, the shipping price would be 100. For the same country, same region, if the zip code was 9001, the weight was one and above and the shipping price was 50, then uh, the 50 uh, shipping price was displayed if the zip code was 9001 there. So let me show you once again uh, that uh, if I go ahead, I'll let me go back to the shopping cart there. Uh, let me go to the estimate uh, shipping in tax section here. For 9001, it's showing as 50. For 9005, it would show it as $100 as you can see there, right? Let's proceed to the checkout once again. So here uh, you can see that uh, we will be able to enable this particular table rate shipping for the customers to choose by choosing this as a yes. We can set up the title, the method name. We can choose the condition as weight versus destination or the price versus destination. Then in the price case, we will have the price and a bow. In the case of number of items, we'll be having number of items and a bow. So in this example, we'll say it as weight and above. Then we can choose to include virtual products in price calculation uh, by choosing a yes or a no. We can calculate the handling fee as well. We can set the handling fee for the table rate shipping as well. We can set the uh, display error message uh, that would be displayed in case the shipping method is not available at a particular place there. Then we can choose ship to applicable countries using this particular shipping method. Or if you want to ship it to specific countries and you can choose specific countries as per your own requirement and then you can choose show method if not applicable as yes then the particular error message would be displayed in case the shipping method is not available at a particular place there now after you've configured these options here and chosen your particular condition that you want to use for the table rate shipping what you need to do is you need to go to the default configuration and choose the website where this particular method would be applicable to so from the scope you have to uh, change the uh, scope here basically to main website and after you have chosen or you have changed the scope there we'll be able to find a particular section here under the table rates now you can see that we have table rate and here we have the condition already set as weight versus destination and here we have the option to export the csv file so you can export the csv file according to the condition that you have chose chosen uh, so according to the condition that you have chosen, you'll be able to export that particular CSV file 
that would be having the weight column price column or the number of item column versus destination option as i've already shown you this was weight versus destination so that's why it was having country region zip code weight and above and the shipping price for the same then after you've exported the file you'll have to fill in the details there as i've done here and after filling up the details here what we need to do is we need to import that particular file by choosing the file here and then we need to tap here on the save configuration button to save the configuration settings now what this would do is this would say our table rate shipping according to the condition that is weight versus destination then accordingly the customers would be able to see the table rate shipping at the checkout time so for this uh, zip code 9001 we are having 50 if i go ahead and i add a new address here and I set the zip code to 9005 and I tap here on the ship here, you'll see that the table rate would uh, change to $100 there itself, right? So these were the three methods that I showed you today that were the flat rate, free shipping, flat rate, uh, free shipping and the table rate shipping. Then we have the in-store delivery. Let me change the configuration to default configuration here. Let's go back. Then we have the in-store delivery. You can enable it up. You can set up the method name. You can set up the title of the uh, same. You can set up the price, the search radius and display error message if the in-store delivery is not available for the customers to select. Now, in the case of uh, in-store delivery, what happens is that you place the order from the website there and then the particular store prepares your order. Then you can go to that particular store and you can pick your order as per your own requirement there so there is much more uh, configuration setting that is required for this uh, particular uh, shipping method uh, that is the in-store delivery uh, method so i'll be attaching the user guide of this particular thing as well in the description of this uh, video for a better understanding there so yes that were the flat rate free rate uh, free shipping and the table rate shipping uh, methods uh, that are available in the admin backend panel that can be configured by the admin manually and uh, the admin can set up the shipping prices uh, manually for these shipping methods and these shipping methods then get visible to the customers at the checkout time so if you found this video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up apart from that if you find uh, or you have any queries questions uh, about the same then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead